I want to talk about something very, very important here. And it's been a late, late, a de big development lately where there's been talks of hosting the World Cup, having the World Cup every two years, right? And if you ask me, this is what it is. It's the art of overthinking, 101. I don't think Pep Guardiola has anything to do with it, but the boy Arsene Wenger has been thick, very thick, thick into things. So we're going to talk about that right now. Um, World Cup every two years. That's been a big talking point right about now. How do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about the World Cup being hosted every two years, man? Talk to me about it. I personally think that's overkill. That is overkill. That is like too much. That is way too much. I can't deal with that. Every four years is fine. Every four years is fine where we have time to breathe. We have new generations of players coming through. And it, it is just better. The rarer, the better. This whole every two years thing. What, what, what is this? You see what I'm saying? What is this? Nassim B is saying, love the ideas, but players would be overworked. You know what they might come up and say? Make bigger squads, have bigger squads, but then the quality would go down as well. Algeria is saying here, too much. The World Cup must be special. The Lego dude, two years for every World Cup would ruin everything. Dajo is saying three years maybe. I don't think three years would work. Nassim B is saying, love the idea. Scandi Lab is saying every four years countries need time keep it to four years as online so better is saying every two years perfect why though why why is it why is it perfect every two years so we're just going to take a look at some of the articles here and see what they're saying let's just click on news and see what's going on here we won't be getting too deep into the details but we'll we just want to scratch the surface a little a World Cup every two years, the pros and cons of FIFA Chiefs, Arsene Wenger's blueprint, right? Let's click on this one. But before we do, let's just take a look at the other headlines. The score.com says, UEFA president, ECA chairman reject holding World Cup every two years, right? Both the men and women's editions of the World Cup are held every four years with the former being beginning in 1991. Well, I think that's the, the, the woman's, right? So, 90 minutes. Why FIFA want to host the World Cup every two years? The idea is to reduce the number of qualifying matches to group them together. Ah, whatever, man. Whatever. Southgate, open-minded about World Cup every two years. It might be a good thing, you know. It might be a good thing, but it's too... It might be a little too frequent though you know what i'm saying arsenal times venga backs world cup every two years yeah mascherano adds voice to world cup every two years darren bent i hate it gives this thoughts on world cup every two years yeah look let's take a look at this first article up here on espn and see what they are actually saying so i'm gonna click that right there see what they're saying about that it's taking some time to load i don't have slow internet but let me actually close something out let me it's taking forever espn come on you're gonna leave me you're gonna you're gonna do me like that that's what you're gonna do me all right we we okay all right we got we got something here we got something we got something baby by mark ogden see the writer at espn.com right all right, why this annoying pop-up right now, though? All right, okay. A World Cup every two years. The pros and cons of the FIFA Chief Arsene Wenger's blueprint. All right, let's just take a look at this right now. Can you imagine a world where there is a major international tournament held every year? This idea is closer to be becoming a reality than you think. It's every two years. I don't know why he says every year, though. See? It's, come on it's every two years following a proposal by the saudi arabian football federation in may fifa is now carrying out a feasibility study into the practicalities of altering the world cup cycle from four years to two meaning that continental championships like the gold cup 
the European Championships, and Copa America would be sandwiched in the alternate years. The study is being led by former Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger, now FIFA's Chief of Global Football Development, and 166 of FIFA's 210 national associations have given their backing to the research into the idea. There is resistance though. UEFA President Alexander Seferin voiced his opinions last week. While the major leagues have not yet ha have yet to be canvassed and convinced. But speaking in Lakeep at the weekend, Wenger spelled out the thinking behind the proposal to not only increase the regularity of World Cups, but also redraw the, inter the international calendar in a way that suits all elements of the game. Ah, it would mean more major tournaments, but fewer international breaks, more opportunities for nations to stage World Cups, and clubs suffering less disruption from international fixtures. So what does it all mean? And what are the pros and cons of Wenger's blueprint for the international game? Okay, we're going to go deeper into this one. Where is, why is there even a plan to have a, have bi bi biennial World Cups, which is every two years? FIFA president Gianni Infantino wants bigger World Cups. The 2026 finals in the, U in the USA, Mexico, and Canada will be the first 48-nation tournament. And he also wants the international game to reclaim some of the financial power, commercial impact, and status of the club game. Okay. Staging World Cups every two years as well as continental championships in the intervening years would ensure a fix would ensure a fixed annual slot in the football calendar for the international game to dominate the agenda. There is also a view within FIFA that the four-year World Cup cycle is an outdated model and anachronism in a world driven by social media and 24-hour news and that young and, and that younger audi audiences and sponsors and that younger audiences and sponsors want more high quality events rather than to wait four years for world cups to come around and there are many nations including saudi arabia who want a shot at hosting a world cup staging one every two years will enable fifa to clear the backlog of nations including china england morocco spain and argentina who could otherwise be waiting for decades to stage a World Cup on home soil. While Wenger's study is focused on the men's game and untangling the congested calendar, there are also plans to stage a biennial World Cup in the women's game. We don't want to copy what the men are doing. We want something specific for women and for the women's game, Infantino said in 2020. We need to get those creative juices flowing. This, this thing is long. This thing is very, very long. I won't get crazy deep into this because we have a lot more to talk about. But let's just touch on this one. Is there much opposition to the plan? Right? Because there's people who are for it and there's also people who are against it. Yes. And primarily from UEFA. Sources have told ESPN that the UEFA hierarchy regard the plan as nothing less than a way to curtail the power of Europe within the game. In a letter to football supporters... Europe, FSC, at the weekend, UEFA President Seferin cited his grave concerns over the proposal and accused FIFA of launching a PR campaign without consulting confederations or national leagues. European football is the powerhouse of the world game, with the leading domestic leagues, richest clubs and Champions League all giving UEFA huge influence. And it will be 20 years next year since a non-European nation last won the World Cup Brazil 2002 okay that's just to solidify what Seferin is saying about Europe and what they're saying about Europe but the increase in financial reliance of major European teams on sponsors and owners from Asia namely Qatar the UAE China and the US has shifted the balance of power and given FIFA the opportunity to canvas support for a radical overhaul of the international calendar the African Confederation has backed the study and there is a growing support in Asia. So UEFA has a battle on their hands. And that's Arsene Wenger. For those of you guys who don't know how he looks, that's the former Arsenal manager. Managed them for 20 years and did a lot of great things. Not what Arsenal is doing right now. 
So um, what are the key elements of Arsene Wenger's blueprint? You may ask, man. Um, look, we're going to just touch on his blueprint and then that'll be it. Because this is a very, very long article and we're not going to go through every single thing. We, we're not. We're not. We're going to take a look at his blueprint and then we're going to move on. If you guys are enjoying this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Do appreciate everybody who stuck around and be patient with, with this one. Because this is some good information though. This is something big. This is something big. Not a lot of people are talking about this. So it's good that we discuss it. What are the key elements of Wenger's blueprint? Wenger believes that increasing the regularity of World Cups will ultimately boost all aspects of the game. He has proposed two international breaks in March and October. And groups of four nations playing just six qualifying games, which Wenger believes will ensure more high stakes and high emotion games. The plans are still a work in progress. So detail on how those four team groups would be put, in, put together is light. But it seems that minnows such as Andorra, San Marino and Gibraltar would have to pre-qualify as lower ranked nations have done for years in Africa, Asia and North Central America. Wenger claims that the beauty and prestige of a tournament depends on its quality rather than regularity and suggests that playing every two years will give the world high class international fixtures and memorable tournaments. He believes that by having just two international breaks each year, leading clubs will see the advantages of having their players for longer and with less disruptive fixture calendars and he is also proposing a compulsory 25 day rest period for players after international tournaments so yeah man yeah yeah there's a lot to go through won't be going through this anymore but this is just to scratch the surface in terms of uh, World Cup being held every two years, headlined, mastermind by Arsene Wenger himself. It's going to be tough to sway UEFA. You, wait, you need UEFA's backing. If you don't get UEFA's backing, it's going to be a problem. But all the other confederations combined does have more power than UEFA. But let's see how this one works out, though. This is big. This is huge. This is humongous woke up every two years it might be fun but i think it's a little bit too frequent and a change in the international break a change in everything would be it would be weird only two windows every year for international football i don't like that i really don't like that though i don't like that the club guys would like that i'm a club guy too but still i don't like it man I don't like it. I just want to put it out there. If you like it, let me know in the in, in the comments. But I don't like it, man. I really don't. 